always loved making things ever since I was a kid. I suppose it makes sense, therefore, that I get involved in food in this kind of DIY way. When we moved into this place, we had the opportunity to put up an extension. I really wanted to get involved. It's kind of out of my league, but there is one thing I can do. Let's feed the troops. All you need is some wood, some kind of metal frame to support it on, and a lamb. There's all sorts of Bear grills nonsense about lighting a fire with a single match, but we don't do it like that around here. The logs burning and burn down to be coals before we actually start cooking with them. I don't want too much flame around my precious bit of meat. Just plenty of heat. So this is going to be a hot, fierce little fire. Basically to create the heat source that we're going to drag over there later. Okay, time for a little more digging. So, I've built the fire at one end of the trench where it's gonna get good and hot and make glowing coals which we'll use for the actual cooking but there won't be too much flame to burn the meat. Next, I'm gonna stake down the frame. So now the frame pivots, but it's not gonna slip into the fire anywhere in a hurry. We also need a bit of rope to hold it, the chain so it won't burn through, and then a stake over there to tie it off to. So, I got that wired up right, it should be pretty much 100% adjustable. Yep, that works. That's perfect, good and strong. Now all we need is a lamb. So, it's best if this next bit is done down on the ground. I wish I had some of the power tools that these guys have got to use, but sadly I haven't. So I've asked the butcher to saw up the, what from here is the front part of the spine. So it's been sawn through just manually and uh, I can't use the nail gun that they've got to fix it. So I put it over these hooks and I wire it into position using some light, light wire. Okay, here we go. Beautiful job. Now we can start the cooking. As you can see, there's a good hot heart in this fire now. So we've got the heat, there's a little bit of smoke going on, but not so much flame. So I can now move this down under here to do the cooking. The other thing I'm gonna add is a couple of handfuls of cheap barbecue charcoal, just to get the heat really moving down here. This stuff's the awful quick lighting stuff, but actually it's just dirt, dirt cheap easily available in the winter season and if you take it out of the bags it doesn't have any unpleasant flavours up at this end I'm going to build another small fire to get the next lot of coals going once again I'm cheating So that's looking pretty good. We've got a hot fire there with a little bit of smoke, a little bit of flame, not too much going on. Over here, out of the way, we've got a quite smoky fire that's building up the heat, so we've got the next lot of logs ready to go. I'll be coming back to the fire throughout the day to move the coals around and adjust where the heat is. So the light's starting to fade. We've been going for about four or five hours now. Uh, and it's starting to look 
done all the way through I've been using one of these to check it this is a instant read thermometer so I shove that into the thick part of the thigh and keep track of the internal temperature all the way through these things are not expensive you can pick them up on or, or online for as little as 12 quid but it makes the whole process of something like this which is extraordinarily difficult to judge there can't be a recipe for something like this it makes it much more accurate much more safe Obviously with a piece of meat of this size, it's going to be different temperatures all over, depending on the heat sources had underneath it. What you need to bear in mind is that rare meat is going to be around 56 and a half, 57, 58 degrees. And well done meat will be up around the 68, 69, 70 degrees. That will be well done. So you kind of draw a picture of what's going on inside by probing in different places. Cooking a whole lamb is a great thing to do, even if you only do it once a year. It's a great way of celebrating getting the family together. But most importantly for me, it's about reconnecting with cooking. It's about having the meat, the fire, setting everything up and doing the cooking in a way that completely bypasses the cling film and supermarket stage. That's what it's all about. Ha, 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 ha.